Morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. Welcome to the Fort Bend County Historical Commission marker dedication for Pittsville, Texas. And the very first item business I have is to call on Reverend Gilmore from the Greater Zachary Missionary Baptist Church to open us in prayer. Reverend Gilmore. I say good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let us bow here. Heavenly Father, we come back in this morning with your mercy, with grace, with providence. Father, we thank you this morning for this dedication all that we gathered in your honor as that you will bless this program in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I have the uh, presentation covered by local scouts. Post the colors. Color guard, honor the flags. The Honorable Thomas Kirkendall Jr., Mayor of Culture, will now lead us in the pledge to the American flag. You put your hand over your left heart, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. to be one day under God, one and the other. And that's her baby. <laughs> and I have a 
Am I missing anybody? No. My grandson, Leonard, <laughs> Ash, and his girlfriend, Nancy. Rachel. And another great grandson, Michael Potts. And the little baby is my great great. And I'm real proud of all of them. Oh, Michael. Son-in-law, too. <laughs> <laughs> Him, too. <laughs> Cash is the sponsor of the market that we're uh, dedicating today. Are there any other families whose relatives lived in the Pittsville area? I know Billy Wentz's family did, and your family Same did. Same family. Same family. There you go. The Harris family. Harris family. Yes. Mine did, too. And yours did, too. Great. The wave, I mean. wave. Yes, the wave. Okay, and Linda Wooten, who helped put on today's program. Thank you very much. And then Susan Browning, who's the host and librarian. I don't know if she came in today. She may be out in front, but tell her hi and thank you for letting us meet. Here we go. I uh, was raised about six miles from here, City. Seven by Crooked Road, up north, down on the county line. And my dad, <coughs> Nesbitt coming, the late Nesbitt coming, uh, was aware that Pittsville had existed. Uh, uh, among the introduction of, of the uh, descendants, uh, I'll have to say that I'm a, a Nesbitt descendant, also a sheriff descendant. My dad, in fact, was Nesbitt coming, so there's, there's a clue there. Uh, his mother, uh, my grandmother, uh, was raised on on basically on FM 359 today, a two-story house that's long since gone. The Nesbitt Harris houses were among the last standing. And let me interrupt uh, my reasonable train of thought here to mention the Fort Bend County Museum, uh, starting the day if everything fell into place, has a Pittsfield exhibit. Uh, the museum's located in Richmond. Claire, who just introduced the guests, uh, is a key figure in putting that exhibit together. There are photographs of those two homes and a whole lot more about Pittsville than you ever thought existed. I know I've, I've been just stunned at the amount of data that's out there. Uh, to get back to the story, Pittsville is among the earliest identified settlements in Fort Bend County and what was in Austin County. Across the county line where you find Walla County today, Austin County until the 1870s. So uh, you see a reference to Fort Bend and Austin counties. That's that's uh, not to mislead you. Uh, just uh, that's earlier than than Walter County came in. Now Stephen F. Austin brought his colonists into this area, and their grants uh, ran to watersheds. Everybody had to have a source of water, and so the early grants, first colonial grants. Uh, pretty much ran to the Brazos River or some main creek type tributary. Pittsville was up on the prairie. Pittsville was considered to be the location of Pittsville, uh, which by the way is two miles north of here on 359 toward the butcher, uh, was considered to be a healthier location. It developed as a community a little bit later than the, than the first colonists came in. Uh, we had uh, Folks here very early, uh, not all of them, by the way, uh, grantees. Most of them did get land grants from the Mexican government uh, through Stephen F. Austin's efforts. Uh, some came in and bought, like the Wade family. William Wade came in from Mississippi and, and purchased his property. But uh, that family was certainly among the, uh, the first here. Pittsville, as I say, developed as a, a place to reside and to do commercial business for people who might have farming interests, ranching interests, down in the Brazos Valley, if you will, to the left, Brazos Bottoms, to the, to the west, excuse me. Um, that was not considered a healthy place to live. It was a great place to uh, grow crops and raise stock. But the residences tended to be up on the, up on the prairie in the Pittsville area. Uh, I won't give you the whole day of hay about Pittsville, but Pittsville met the death. Uh, it's kind of a, a repeat story in, in I'm sure American history as well as Texas history. And that is that the railroad came through, uh, not at Pittsfield because the people of Pittsfield weren't interested in giving railroad. The railroad, railroad came through to the south, uh, 
right where we're sitting today. And so in the late 19th century, there was a migration. Don't know how quick, don't know how slow, but over a period of time, people uh, moved here. Foshaw was founded as a, as a formal community. Brookshire grew from uh, growth the other direction, movement the other direction. And Pittsville uh, pretty much died on the vine. But for a period of time, it was, uh, it was really uh, quite a place, and we're here to observe and, and to celebrate that. Betty Einheiser, she is the chair of the uh, Commission's Markers Committee, and as a matter of fact, earlier this month, was a recipient of the 2012 Heritage Award that our organization gives for outstanding service. Please welcome Betty Einheiser. Texas historical markers commemorate and honor events, individuals, structures, and sites in our state, serving as a visible indication that Texans appreciate their heritage involving the eras that led to the foundation of, our, of us today. Can everybody hear Betty? She's got a soft voice. As long as everybody hears it, go down here. <laughs> Markers provide information to us and to tourists about Texas' rich heritage. During Texas Centennial in 1936, 76 years ago, granite markers four feet high were granted to historic sites. Fort Bend County received about 10 of these. In 1953, the Texas Historical Commission was created and our current types of markers were started. Early on, the Texas Historical Commission approved markers with just a simple application form. But today, documented papers are the requirement. And also, once they go to Austin, they become part of our permanent history. Research papers are also valuable locally because they provide more information than the markers text for those who are interested in doing further research. This morning, Rosalind Ash Pipes is going to read the marker that you see up here. It's out on the highway, so we couldn't be out there. So this is a picture presentation. Is it broken? Would you like to come forward? Planters preferring the prairie to the hazardous Brazos River bottoms settled this village in the 1840s. Named for store owners A.R. and Amanda Wade Pitts, it was a major commercial center by 1860. During the Civil War, the Pittsville Home Guard and Confederate Cavalry units, which helped recapture Galveston, camped in the area. Notable residents included Robert Locke Harris and A.A. A. Lawrence, Confederate surgeons, William Sheriff and J. Wesson Parker, Texas legislators, and Fort Bend County judges, and John Huggins, innovator of horse racing techniques. The arrival of a new railroad to the south in 1888 and the subsequent founding of Fulcher resulted in the gradual decline and eventual disappearance of Pittsville by the late 1940s. This marker, Pittsville, is dedicated <coughs> to the memory of the women and children who settled in this area, used the land for crops and livestock, developed their way of life for Texas, believed in education and faith, and passed their values on to us. May we ever be mindful of the heritage they have given us as we acknowledge it today and document it for the future with this Texas historical market. We've uh, already recognized uh, Ms. Cash and her generosity for underwriting this marker. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that a uh, young man by the name of Clint Drake did the research that led to this marker. And as I said earlier, there's an amazing amount of detail and it took a kind of amazing job to come up with it. I'd like to ask Mrs. Cash and uh, those who had the uh, ancestors that lived here to come and gather and let us picture you all together. Billy, would you come forward? And Sally, you're welcome to come with <coughs> Now, 
Is that light on their face that makes them look funny? <laughs> Too bad. They're pretty good. <laughs> Just a moment. Don't tell the truth. Hi guys, my name is uh, Leonard. Like she said, I was introduced as uh, Catherine Cash's grandson, but I also work for uh, U.S. Congressman Michael McCall as his representative here in the area. So, uh, Congressman apologizes he couldn't be here today, but uh, he does represent uh, the Brookshire area, at least uh, the Walla County area, uh, in the U.S. House of Representatives. So, he did send a letter of uh, congratulations that I'd like to read to y'all today. Uh, dear Mrs. Cash and Mrs. Pipes and the folks of Fort Bend County, I am writing to offer my heartfelt congratulations to you for the historical Texas Historical Commission recognizing Pittsville as a significant part of Fort Bend County history by awarding it an official Texas marker. The placement of this marker on your property signifies the original township of Pittsville, Texas, and its earliest residents. Pittsville is an important part of both Texas and American history, serving as the early settlement of Texas and later Civil War era campsite. Named for the Pitts family, Pittsville was among the earliest communities of the Texas of the coastal Texas area and flourished during the middle and late 1800s, extending into Austin, later Waller County, when early plantation owners, finding it impossible to live in the swampy, though fertile Brazos River bottoms, built their homes on high prairie lands away from the threat of floods. I recognize the time and effort you and your family in the county committed to researching and revealing the historical importance of the one-time commercial heart of Pittsville. I know the community in the state of Texas are excited to partner with you on this important endeavor of preserving our history for future generations. It is such an honor to have dedicated individuals such as you making a difference in the, tex in the 10th Congressional District of Texas. As a member of the United States House of Representatives, I honor your dedication to preserving the state's rich heritage, and I'm proud to continue to serve as your congressman for the Berkshire area. Sincerely, Michael T. McCall, Member of Congress. <laughs> This one is from John Carney, the United States Senator. Dear Mrs. Cash, I join with the Fort Bend County Historical Commission in recognition of your hard work as you dedicate a historical marker for Pittsville, Texas. The township of Pittsville, founded in the 1830s, was one of the first townships in the area. By the 1860s, Pittsville had become a major commercial center. The advent of the railroad led to the slow decline and eventual disappearance of the township by the 1940s. I commend your efforts to secure Pittsville's place in Texas history, and I am confident that this historical marker will play a vital role in the cultural and intellectual advancement of future generations of Texans. Thank you for your work to make this recognition a realization. Best wishes for the years ahead. Sincerely, John Cornyn, United States Senator. Thank you, Leonard, for getting these for us. Um, we appreciate it very much. Now I'll let you eat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.